We are but a week removed from the return of the dawn, and hasn't it been glorious? I guess if we want to play some semantic games, it'd be early tomorrow morning, but that's all right. This fits a little bit better, especially for what we're going to be doing today. Basically going over the past week that has been, and even though... Even though the guy hasn't been inaugurated at all, okay, whatsoever, and some of the ideas that are being floated by the commentariat out there, that, yeah, um, actually Biden should step down so we could go ahead and throw a wrench in all of the 47 marketing, wouldn't that be just a nice little way to just twist the knife on the way out the door? It's like, you guys are so petty, it's absolutely pathetic, but that'll be something we can discuss in the next video when it comes to the salt mines right now over the past week yeah they have been a bustling bro haven't seen this much manufacturing in about oh five years but with that said a lot of it has been hilarious a bunch of it has been staged but there has been some unhinged reactions but it is best summarized in this one simple, crudely drawn meme, and to me, these are the best ones that are out there. So yeah, everybody deciding to leave the United States on of their own volition because Orange Man has a cometh, and then of course, the other side of that equation of the relatively unapproachable, making themselves even more unapproachable, and then also taking a vow of celibacy, I mean... They're really going to have a tough time reconciling the fact that nobody wants to pay full price for a diminished product and them coming around to the conclusion that instead of throwing that thing around like a dish rag it doesn't really make you a valuable commodity. It's, it's a very strange reaction, not one that I don't think we were caught off guard by, but it's only going to get more wild from here. So instead of just, yes, like I said, laughing at the mentally deranged, we can go ahead and take a look at the people that are arguably responsible for this stuff. And that would be the media. And first and foremost, the media up north and the way that they are trying to take swipes at what a bunch of people would consider the GOAT, okay, Wayne Gretzky, which as, you know, growing up a Calgary Flames fan, I have a special level of detestation, all Edmonton Oilers, and then, of course, living in northern Alberta for most of my life and being born in central Alberta. I've been steeped in Oilers lore for as long as I can remember, so I've been hearing the name Gretzky forever. That's just not a Canadian thing, that's... It's, very much magnified as an Albertan thing as well and as time has gone on you know I've come to appreciate him even though you know he had the greatest supporting cast in the league history and you know the officials definitely did like to pocket their whistle whenever anything was going wrong with the Oilers and he was getting special treatment whenever anybody would come across the blue line but don't worry about any of that stuff okay Gretzky is Gretzky is the great one for a reason right and even still you know them the media this is trying to drag Wayne Gretzky for simply wearing a mega hat, simply going down and celebrating the election victory down there at Mar-a-Lago. It's like, bro, this shit is basically going to fall on deaf ears because, you know, sports fans are kind of working class. I've kind of taken a step back from hockey, not because I don't appreciate the game. Hell, the high level of play is, you know, it's better even than when Gretzky was playing. He would fit in perfectly right now and hell... His hockey sense and his abilities, you know, far transcend just about anybody else in the game today. So, yeah, he would probably be just as great as he was back in the cut as he would be right now. I'm not taking anything away from him when it comes to that. It's just the same reason that I took a step back from watching, hell, a bunch of sports, but specifically hockey, was because of, well, it's the media class forcing down my throat the idea that Sidney Crosby is better than Alexander Ovechkin when I have a working pair of eyes. Don't mind the glasses, they're fairly powerful, but they do more corrections than anybody in Canadian media. The fact that they're trying to make this a national story, like Wayne Gretzky and family attend a Trump election night event at Mar-a-Lago. It's like, you guys tried to do this before and it already failed on its face. And you also did that with the other guy that's in the conversation and my pick for greatest hockey player of all time with Bobby Orr who took out a full page ad and you tried to drag him back in the cut for that. You guys are despicable. It would appear Wayne Gretzky can be added to the list of high-profile professional athletes and sports figures who support U.S. President-elect Donald Trump. And this is something that I find interesting, because we're going to talk about the Kamala stuff here, you know, in the next video. I think it's the next video, the way that I have these scheduled up. Uh, sometime today, okay? And we can talk about, you know, celebrities in general and that not really adding to anything. And the fact that Gretzky was simply at the party, didn't say one way or another. And you know what? Hey, go ahead and support whoever you want. But 
when it comes to celebrity endorsements, they don't really tip the scales for anybody anymore. The mystique and the air of the A-list celebrity has dissipated mostly due to their own actions, their own decisions over the past 10, 20 years at this point. But when it comes to other people and uh, taking their opinion on things outside of experts or specific people entrenched in a topic, you might lend a bit more of an ear over to their perception, their opinion on something. But ultimately, at the end of the day, it comes to your own decision making capabilities. And if you're giving up one of your fundamental rights to vote based on the whims and the opinions of goofy ass, a make believe pretender. You're letting somebody who plays a children's game influence your vote. I would say that professional athletes, and not just because, you know, in droves, they tend to be voting a little bit more conservative than the rest of the population, or at least people on their perceived social hierarchical level. It's just, they've had to go through the shit. They've had to accomplish something. They've had to hone their skills, as opposed to people that play pretend for a living. I would take their opinion when it comes to pretending to be somebody else, but when it comes to to accomplishing things in life, I would I would lean a little bit more in the way of the professional athlete, but at this point in time, when you're on the level of a Gretzky or a Nick Bosa, who apparently got fined for wearing a mega hat, and then, you know, he kind of told the rest of the NFL what he thought about that fine by getting a sack over the past weekend, then doing the Trump YMCA dance after he did that, and a bunch of his other teammates joined in on that one, kind of lets you know the way that the culture is going. And so to uh, try to shame arguably the greatest hockey player well hell throw bobby orr in this the two greatest hockey players of all time simply because of the way that they check a box every four years you're pitiful a great one attended an exclusive a-list event at the republican nominees mar-a-lago resort in west palm beach florida on tuesday night rubbing shoulders with the likes of tesla founder and ex-owner elon musk and ufc president dana white as team trump awaited the results and yeah we have this tweet and this tweet would I have pulled up here somebody who writes for The Hockey News, one of the many outlets that were out there covering this story when I think it broke. Well, obviously last week at some point in time, but how they're still trying to make this a thing is very pathetic, right? So you have Caleb Kearney, who's on the, you know, the hockey beat co-site, or yeah, co-site editor for a Let's Go Oilers and Let's Go Red Wings team site at, yes, uh, The Hockey News, okay? So he's a professional writer, he covers sports for a living, but he doesn't know who Dustin Johnson is. Like, bro, what are we doing here? It just shows you. It shows you the type of person we're dealing with here. Wayne Gretzky and his wife joined their children, Paulina and Trevor, a former MLB prospect and Trevor, and Paulina's husband. But are, were you short on characters there, Caleb? At a private Donald Trump event on election night. Where it's like, yeah, obviously that was um, posted on, I do believe, Paulina's Instagram account. And you can see the framing, like right here, you know, he posts a link to his own goofy ass article that he has right there. I've obviously got the National Post one up, but the Edmonton Journal one's up there. Huck News and all of these other hack outlets. They, they had all of their screeds written a few days ago, and they all circle around the same opinion that, oh, Gretzky should know better. I've been a huge fan of Wayne Gretzky since he entered pro hockey uh, with the WHA, with the racers, and I've always idolized the man. Yeah, cool. I can also read a whip or Wikipedia article and then just throw facts in there as well. I was even watching him in the year that he scored over 200 points. It was very incredible. Uh, yeah. Out with, oh, and it is very disappointing to see uh, that he would support a man with such low character. Gretzky was my idol growing up. This stings a lot. Like, why? This has become the common sentiment of so many vocal sports fans out there where they put, once again, ideology ahead of the on-field or on-ice product, and it has driven off a lot of fans. It really has. Like the way the Black Lives Matter was splattered on NBA courts and then also in end zones and then also, you know, on outfield walls in the MLB in a post-2020 world or how the NFL starts all of their prominent games with the black national anthem all of that stuff it, it doesn't need to be in hockey gretzky wasn't making this a hockey thing he didn't even have a statement on it at all whatsoever bobby Orr so removed from the product and it had nothing to do with hey you know the the boston bruins and bobby Orr come together to support the former and future president no it was nothing like that but these freaks take this shit so personally Okay, and Caleb Kearney, which I was scrolling down his goofy-ass Twitter feed in order to find anything else, what the hell he's talking about, and he retweets this, okay? 
political fact checker, TED speaker, author, independent founder of Polaris Watch. He, him. Oh, great. We're going to be in for something fantastic. And this is a rationalization when it comes to covering the Gretzky story and why it's so bad that he is supporting Trump. Here's the thing that a lot of Canadians don't want to accept. Oh, okay, cool. Our hockey culture is bad for our country. Really? Really? A unifying game. A unifying game that requires an immense amount of talent. A multi Outside of hitting a fastball, playing hockey at a high level is arguably the most difficult thing to do in sports right? Because you need a unique skill set in order to just simply play the game in skating. You have guys that are anywhere between 210 to 30 flying around the ice at 30, 40 miles an hour. And if you got your head down, you're going to be out cold. Hell, you can fight in it. It is quite possibly the most masculine sport that is out there. And I'm speaking to somebody who hasn't even watched a game since like 2011, for Christ's sakes. A large part of the conservative momentum, I'm sorry, in uneducated white men. Oh, right. Yeah, now, because with all of this introspection that Democrats or leftist minded individuals have done over this past week, they've come to the conclusion that no, actually, we haven't done anything wrong it's all of the stupid people that are out there and it's like this is why you lose but yes yeah uneducated white man is perpetuated by hockey culture and broader contact sport a lot not all of famous hockey players are far to right oh i'm sorry our right to far right ideals and tendency theo flurry comes to mind and as a calgary flames fan you know shout out to theo flurry who's yeah been a, quite the political pundit in recent years but oh if want to come back around to the stuff that he was dealing with back in the cut no no if you know the story about theo flurry it's awfully tragic and it tends to be perpetuated by people that have your physiognomy there jb anyways uh hockey culture in canada in my opinion fuels the pipeline thanks to prominent people in the sport spreading it around through coaching and mentoring you ever wonder why those opinions would be held by these people who have to amass or I'm sorry, accumulate such a wealth of talent, they have to accomplish things in order to move up because sports is a naturally hierarchical medium of expression where you can't get a pro you can't get a producer's gig you can't sit in a writer's room and just get along by going along because you simply know somebody no if you're on the fourth line or hell if you're pinch hitting you need to perform and you can't just coast by there's only one backup for patrick mahomes okay there's no there's no free ride in sports and that's why the guys that have to accomplish something where meritocracy is prioritized over equality that's why they tend to lean a little bit more conservative it's not shocking at all whatsoever well, sport, I believe, is a great tool to stay healthy, active, and can teach valuable life lessons. It's plagued by people using it to shape mainly young men into a certain type of person. Maybe it just naturally does this. And this is what I'm seeing a lot of times over when it comes to the leftists uh, lacking any kind of introspection as to why they got blown out last week. Maybe all of your ideas aren't as popular as you think that they are. That's something that, yeah, we'll get into with the next video. Uh, we also are not blind to this. It's shown in pop culture with jocks and even shown like Letterkenny helps, uh, shows like Letterkenny help push this stereotype for better or for worse. This is why I'm not surprised to see Gretzky at the Trump event or something abroad like the NHL banning pride tape or whatever. Oh my God, that was such a glorious time. That almost got me back into the NHL. Almost. It's a systemic issue in hockey culture to breed this type of Canadian that is glorified in our culture and yeah i cannot wait okay because I, I don't need to see the rest of this stuff oh what is this meanwhile a person uh, uh the system creates is woman hating sometimes abusive i mean there you see two very happy couples standing side by side but yes of course it creates an abusive environment r word slurring yo man uh, this guy's a retard but okay a man who is told he is the next gretzky so he doesn't have to get an education but ends up working some shitty job that he isn't happy in. there's a lot of projection going on here and this is why these people lose and this is why i can't wait oh i can't wait mostly because this is going to more directly affect me even though you know the trump election has a lot to do with the health and wealth of canada when eventually justin trudeau ends up kicking rocks and finally leaving canadian politics so that i don't have much hope in pierre poly view or a little poly pocket for reasons that i can explain at a later date but with this the societal recognition that yeah okay all of this uh, equity crap all this dei nonsense all of this feels over reels garbage you guys stole your 
foothold in society over the last four years. You got to enact all the policies that you want. Everybody's lives, everybody's lives are categorically worse than they were beforehand. Now that the people are back, now that the strong people are back, now that masculinity is being recognized, now that authority is actually out there once again, your time is up. Your goose is cooked. And if the only thing that you have left is a shaming language and saying, oh, you're stupid. I don't know why you care so much that your girlfriend is out there sucking somebody else off. You should be man enough to accept her for who she is when she gets home and wipe off her lower back. Ah, uh, thanks. We, we could do without your input, Destiny. Go back to trying to say that it was uh, the only reason that the left lost is because they aren't getting behind machine guns. That guy's just about as lost. And he's a perfect avatar for why the left will continue to lose. Oh, we're going to get so tired of winning over these next four years. It's going to be huge. So with all that said, thank you all very much for the gift of your time. I've been Don Consuelo. I want you to follow your gut and get after it. Take care, everyone.